38 and this is James, my husband, he's 42. Um, I am the brains behind Rent My Handy Husband and he's the brawn. Um, I came up with the idea in the end, at the end of June for um, flat packing, assembly, um, any jobs around the house that wives can't get their husbands to finish or doesn't have to just be wives, it, anybody that can't do the job, doesn't want to do the job, doesn't have the time. Um, this is where I would rent my husband. Replacing one cupboard in the kitchen or um, replacing furniture. putting flooring down. A lot of garden work in the summer. Um, just what you'd expect normal people do, not kind of like landscaping. Although we've had some people that. Well, you do a lot of like yeah patio like slab yeah. laying. Slab, yeah. So laying the flooring uh, outside it inside. Um, fencing, painting fences is uh, a, a lot of the job that I've been doing. Garden clearance. Uh, garden, yeah. Clearance. Laying flooring. I don't even, I don't know if people still like, actually kind of take it seriously in a way because it, although maybe they do now because it's been four months, but they, it's kind of like a, oh, James had many jobs, you know, has he been busy? And they <clears throat> sort of like forget that without me booking stuff in <laughs> and without me doing like the marketing side of it, he wouldn't have any to go to. I suppose one of the telltale of the successes we haven't really been able to see in one because yeah. we've just been so busy. Yeah. So there's a set hourly labour price and there is a set day price. And what we like to do is a criteria of people like over 65s, disabled people, carers, um, people on universal credit, emergency services. NHS and emergency service staff, we like to give a discount to. Um, so because we've been in a position where money has been tight um, and so we know what it's like that you want stuff done in your house but you can't afford to do it maybe um, or you physically can't do it um, we have a, a, quite a lot of people that are like oh could you do this for my parents sometimes I don't know if people are, are genuinely asking or if they're being funny about it so like oh I could do with him for a few hours and it's like, like how do you, are you taking it tongue in cheek like it's supposed to be, or are you genuinely like you want him to do some work for you? Loads and loads of comments. There was like over a thousand comments on just one post, and yeah, just although a lot of it was trolling. To me, the way I see it, it's just publicity, free advertising. But I think James's autism, he with that he has such a thick skin, so stuff like when they say anything like oh I wouldn't rent, rent him or whatever he's like okay with with my autism it's a lot easier to concentrate when I'm at someone's place for place of work and just go on get that job done and finished to a high standard where if I'm at home it's a lot more laid back and I'll think a lot more about what I'm doing so I'll take my time put something down forget about it come back to it in a couple of weeks and the thing is, while I'm trying to balance my life at work, at home, with the kids, it's like I'm up till five in the morning painting rooms in the house sometimes just so it gets done so Laura's not as annoyed at me. <laughs> <laughs>